what, oh, God. Where would you like to go, Let's Joe? do the Scott Galloway stuff. He's much okay. more fun. Okay, great. Okay, let's see here. Do, do, the All In do. podcast is making me want to kill myself. Just oh, to... Joe. Come on, Joe. Do you, you, ev- you, everyone wants you know to... you thought about it. Everyone wants to spoon with Elon. Just getting, That's what All In podcast is about. We're going all in. Elon's crank. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is Scott Galloway. Now, before we start, a couple things. We, I respect him the fact that he puts out his predictions every year, and then he comes back and says, this is what I screwed up. Great. So I appreciate that. Second, I think he's knowledgeable in certain areas. But third, I also re- re- I recognize the game he has to play. He has to be an entertainer, so he makes hot takes. Um, his COVID take of saying small businesses that don't have six months of cash stocked up to deal with a lockdown yeah, yeah, are you're terrible still business owners. Yeah, because, hey, I'm, Get just like, I'm, re- I'm getting ready for my political run. I'm here. I rolled my years sl- ago. <laughs> I rolled my sleeves on for the little guy here. So let's go. Uh, what speed are we playing here? Playing normal. First prediction for 2024. TikTok comes from Netflix and Spotify. I think TikTok is the most ascendant platform in history. Uh, They purposely hide how strong their numbers are because they want to wallpaper over what an incredible security threat it is for the West. It is insane that we have let the CCP... Okay, I want to stop real quick uh, because I heard a Joe laugh. Joe, go, go, go for it. It's an insane security threat. The, the theory here is that the Chinese government is manipulating what they present to American kids in order to brainwash them. Uh, no, I, I don't think they're even needing to. They're definitely no. regulating what TikTok shows in China, so it's much more wholesome. It's stuff they approve. Yeah. But in the U.S., I think their attitude is let the algorithm have its way and let it grow as fast as possible. Exactly, just following the view time and what's getting hearted and going from there. And yeah. uh, they're more concerned about their own populace. They're, what, I don't think the Chinese government could pick stuff this stupid. It has to be organic. <laughs> That's so true. I, so I hearted uh, hip-hop, and because uh, I hearted hip-hop rap videos once, they're like, oh, he must also like boot shake videos. And all I get is just constant boot shake videos. I'm like trying to like, no, no more boot shake videos. Like, but he likes hip hop. He must like boot shake. I'm like, no, stop it. But yeah, you, you watch that stuff long enough, it just rots your brain, destroys you. Um, but uh, what I also want to make the point of too is like he said, oh, uh, eventually uh, TikTok's coming after uh, Netflix and whatnot. It's like, no, like they always do this weird thing when a new companies in ascendancy that's going to go take out another company. Remember what we dealt with with Google Plus? Mm-hmm. Everyone said, oh, uh, Facebook's growing, so it's going to take out search. It's going to yeah, destroy this us. is like one of the 10 approved press narratives. It's the you know horse race narrative. Exactly. Exactly. And so it's like, no, what if it's just they're creating a completely different model and different market opening up that we didn't have before, and they can live in harmony? And if you said that to Eric Schmidt back then, he'd be like, no. Because Eric Schmidt was the one who was pushing very hard in the company, saying, "Oh, Facebook's going to eat our lunch. They're going to destroy us. We need to start Google Plus." Like, Larry, we've we got to do this. And it was just a complete waste of time and stupid. So let's continue with this. Plant the neural jack into the wet matter of all of our youth. We are raising a generation of civic nonprofit, military, and business leaders who feel worse and worse about the West every day, all hidden in a bunch of cute dance videos. It should absolutely be banned in the West. It is incredible that we've been this stupid for this long. Having said that, I he. he this he, is the Doctor Strange love speech, right? These these uh, Chinese government types are sapping the will of our youth mm-hmm. as a way to take us out. Exactly, and they must be stopped. Also, I think what he's missing is uh, what else is there to do for a. 10 year old to 16 17 year old who's now living in the worst generation of helicopter parents where they don't let them do anything what else are you going to do go on the internet go on reddit and just dick around with your time because you have no you can't drive you don't have a job your, your parents don't let you do work anymore i was gonna make a whole entire post about uh child child labor builds character and i'm serious about it like i was working the flea markets when i was little I, when I get contractors coming here who are Mexican contractors, they're bringing their 11, 12-year-olds mm-hmm. to help out on the side and whatnot, and I tip yeah. them too and whatnot. Well, that's what kids want to do, right? They want to yeah. enter adult society. They want to Exactly. And that was been the whole thing. in America, like, for the longest time was, like, you work in the family farm and you help out. You learn a skill but and a trade and now do stuff. We, we purposely exclude kids as a way to control the labor market, right? Exactly. And so that's why my – 
my cousin, he spends like 23 hours a week on Snapchat and TikTok because he has nothing else to freaking do. Well, also, so, it's funny because I remember talking to uh, one of the head people in a Japanese phone company back right the, before the iPhone was even introduced. And we were mm -hmm. discussing, he asked me, what do I think the purpose of a mobile phone is? And I said, oh, connectivity, you know, to be able to talk to people, to be able to reach people that are available. You can read your email, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, nope. The purpose of a mobile device is to help you waste short chunks of time. Mm. That was his attitude. He's like, because the Japanese mobile phones back then would, you know, pre-download short chunks of videos or pre-download your email or whatever, such that when you're underground on the subway and you don't have connectivity, you could watch them and sort of burn those short chunks of time between stations. Right. And that was their attitude. That's what the phone was for. And under that definition, TikTok is perfect. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and no, it's true. You being a lot. What I was doing was, if I'm in the line the DMV or something, I would be pulling out my cell phone to read a Kindle book, or mm -hmm. or get email done or something. So it's not the scourge of society that what he's putting up here. But let's continue. Having said that, it's also an incredible platform with the strongest algorithm in the world. And I think their next victim, if you will, is going to be Netflix and Spotify. They are already starting to do all kinds of uh, different. Um, OK, so I, I think this is wrong again because he thinks that short form shake videos <laughs> are going to compete with long form shows like Fallout or that new Netflix show about the Jap Japanese feudal Japan and samurais and stuff. There's Shogun? places for yeah, Shogun. There's places for different types of content. And if TikTok is smart, they will not make the same mistake of what YouTube did, where they listened to kind of Scott and said, Oh, uh, Netflix has these original things, these Netflix originals, and they're gonna eventually destroy YouTube because no one's gonna want to see creator driven stuff like Joe and what Joe and I do. So what we need to do is uh, do our own originals and spend hundreds of millions of dollars on that. And Netflix was probably like, are you guys insane? If we could, we'd pick your business model because you have idiots like Jordan and Joe <laughs> going on here every day trying to make it. And then some of them do make it, but most fail. And then we don't pay anything for their production costs and their ruined lives. We just put ads in and make money. And so our gross margins are fat. And so he's making the same argument again that now TikTok is going to just encroach on Netflix and destroy it. It's like, no. There's going to be places. There's going to be places for what was it called? The Squid Game, Squid Games, the one with the, the mm -hmm. Koreans. And there's going to be places for B-Shake videos. It's not like the B-Shake videos are just going to take over Squid Games and whatnot. So, I think it's a really stupid take. But what are your thoughts on this take? In, in, in yeah, you're arguing that? that these are different different markets, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. and they don't directly compete. I think he's more focused on the advertising, which is funny yeah. because, you know, uh, twelve to sixteen year old kids aren't probably that lucrative of an advertising no. market. Uh, what you really want is the people who watch long form Netflix videos because they tend to be, I believe, you know, families in the 30 to 50 year old demographic. Those are the people that you want to monetize because you get huge amounts of money for advertisements to them. Exactly. That's so true. They got cash and they have, they can spend and they can go. Um, the best you can do with the kids is maybe do a Lucky Charms commercial or something or maybe Adder <laughs> or Adderall. Um, I think the go best part of his point is. TikTok is incredibly successful. Yeah. And it's an interesting privacy problem because the data from US users is being streamed back to China, which, you know, China would be upset if we were doing that to them. They famously walled off their own internet to Facebook and Google for precisely that reason. Yeah, that's true. Um, hey, y'all, this is the first 30 minutes. We're now going to go into the paid portion for our Patreon and our paid supporters. So we're going to go into. Uh, we're going to switch to members only. Thank you for watching. Hit that join button. You can catch the next 30 minutes.